What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here, back with another video. Yeehaw. So today, I got this, this cool little product that came in the mail that, that I want to show you guys, get your thoughts on it. I think it's pretty freaking sweet. It, it's a problem solver. I dig problem solvers. And sometimes it's the little things. It's the little things that, that make life easier out in the wilderness or you're hunting or you're camping or you're bugging out or stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's the little things sometimes. I'm glad I've got that. Well, this little rascal right here fits that bill, in my opinion, 100%. It's the fish bones piranha. You might be thinking to yourself, what the heck is that? Looks like some kind of cool EDC, you know, thing, bottle opener or something like that. You can't open the bottle with it. Let's just go ahead and get that out there. <laughs> but this is a knotless rope tie, and you can use this for all sorts of different things. Guy lines, strapping something down to your truck or a trailer, a ridge line for your hammock or for a tarp. Tons of uses. Anything that has to do with, you know, tying down stuff, strapping down stuff, and things like that. If you're not very proficient in knots, sometimes that can be a pain in the butt. Well, that's where this guy right here comes in. Cordage here, some paracord. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can, how, one way you can use this um, in application and tying to it. Because you're not technically tying a knot. So getting it where it, where it does its thing, right? The fish bones, piranha. Clearly, there's many different ways that you can do this, but this is the most basic way. All right, so the most basic, simple way to use this, I will show you now. Yeah, so you got your cordage. All you have to do is run your tag in towards the tail of the fish right there, or the piranha, right? All you're gonna do is wrap it once, twice like that so I'm going over that over again and then just cinching it right there okay so now what I want to do is I want to mount this bedroll right here, or this wool blanket that I got to the bottom of my pack with this guy. So you already got this tied on, okay? Of course, I don't need this much cordage, but I don't feel like cutting it. So we're gonna run this up through my webbing, like so. I'm gonna go across and back up on this side created a loop here as you can see all right so now I'm gonna take my wool blanket and I'll put it in my loop okay so now I'm gonna come back across this way find my piranha down here where'd you go piranha He's hiding. Here he is, right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook into that piranha right there. Now I can pull this joker tight, see? So all I did was running in the, the hook, and pulling them tight, all right? So now all I gotta do is come over Back around, back into that hook, and it's on there. It's tight. It ain't going anywhere, because what it's done is when you pull it back through the hook here, and you cinch it, it pinches onto it to itself, and it's not coming loose. So I could cut this if I wanted to, I could cut this, run it down through that eye right there, tie a knot or whatever, or tie it over here. And, you know, I won't have all this access. So I don't feel like cutting my paracord <laughs> for this demonstration, but as you can see, it's on there and not going anywhere. And then when I want to take the blanket off and use it, it's just as simple as taking this, running it back through the hook, pulling it,
comes right out. How cool is that? And then this, just as easy. Yank that. Boom. No knots. The piranha's pretty freaking sweet, y'all. I'm telling you. It's the little things sometimes. It's, it's the little things that are a problem solver or make your life easier or quicker that simply work. That's freaking awesome about being gearheads like we are. Freaking sweet. So how about that? Pretty impressive, I, I think. I mean, I, I dig it. I think it's cool. I like its size. I like that it's got a purpose and it's a problem solver. So this right here is definitely a winner in my book. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Yeah, you dig it? Are you like the best knot tire in the world and all this stuff is against, you know, against your religion? <laughs> That's okay. But if it can help one person out or speed one person up or anything like that, I think it's a win because not all of us are excellent knot tires, knotsmen, knotswomen. I don't know what the word is. Knotiers, knot aficionados. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, let me know down below what you think about this little fella right here. Yeah? Comment, like, share with your friends, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time with another video. Yeehaw.